Hey folks, so earlier today I was working on a problem somebody else was having and found the answer to a problem I was having. The problem was that when I would go into a place where I needed to change the name of something, the keyboard was covering up the area where the text was going and what I had done was I had somehow let my transmitter update the keyboard app and so this is the original keyboard app I uninstall the update and now I can see what I'm typing up here at the top and now I'm using a uh, my computer and uh, keyboard and mouse because I have my iX14 connected to it through a USB cable. So when I type I use a keyboard at the field. I don't do many changes but I have to touch the screen like normal folks. But anyway the keyboard was covering up what I was typing. And to show you what that looked like Let's go into um, Task Manager and click on the Home button and go to Settings and go to Apps. And before we do that, let's turn on Wi-Fi. We're going to need it. Don't leave Wi-Fi turned on, by the way. Only turn it on when you need it. And the only time you really need it is when you're updating airware or you're backing up your models to Google Drive. So click on see all of the apps and go down here to Gboard. And there it is. And it's only 64 megabytes. And if you scroll down here to advanced, you will notice that it does not say store anywhere down here. And I'll show you that when I update it, it will say store and it will be a much larger app. So let's go to home and go to the Play Store and update the Gboard app. So we'll search for, well, you got to click in the field or it won't work, Gboard. And search for it and there it is and see there's an update for it it's installed but there's an update so let's put the update on because I want to show you how it breaks the keyboard so it's got to download it first once it's downloaded it'll install it which takes a little bit longer than downloading it. Okay, now we're installing it. I could skip this and show you the result, but we'll continue. Shouldn't take too much longer. Any second now. I 
Okay, so now it's installed and you can open it, but I don't want to. Notice there's no update button now because this is now the transmitter went to sleep. Now that this is the newest version, so let's get out of this. Let's go to the task manager and throw that off the screen. And let's go, let's throw this off the screen too. And go back here and I'll show you how that update broke my transmitter. So we go back to servo setup. And we go to names. And we go down here. And I'm going to have to click a second time because, well, there it is. Now, this is a, a different version of the keyboard. And it's in... Uh, what do they call it? If you click that button, it's in floating mode. So we don't want floating mode. Now it's in the regular full size screen or full size mode. So now you can't see where I'm fixing to type. It's not showing it. It's behind the keyboard. So if I have the cursor at the end of the word, and click for the keyboard. If I hit the backspace key and type something different, and I could have done it by clicking on the buttons or touching the screen, but see, I just happened to backspace everything off, and what I typed turned out okay. But when I click again to change that, you see it doesn't put help up here where I can change it. It doesn't show you where you're typing or what you're typing in. So you're working blind because this keyboard covers up the field where the data is at and doesn't show you an alternate location up here where you can see what you're doing. So you're flying blind and I just happen to luck out and get it right. So now, what do we do about this? How do we get rid of this new version? So we pull back down, we go to the task manager, and we go to the home button, and we click settings, and we click on apps, and we click on see all 29 apps, or however many there are, and we scroll down to Gboard. And notice it's 306 megabytes. That's a bunch bigger than it was before. Plus, this one doesn't work right. So click on it. Scroll down. Click Advanced. And you'll see that it says Store now. And it says that it was installed from the Google Play Store. So the way to get rid of it is click on that. And it'll take you back to the store. And now you have a button that says uninstall. So click uninstall. And let it remove it. Okay. Now. Now it shows you that you can update it. Because it's back to an older version. Or you can open the older version. Well we don't want either one. So let's drag that off the screen. Drag that off the screen and go back. And go back to servo settings and rename that channel. And now when I click on it, see, now you can see what you're typing. And the keyboard is a little simpler, not so fancy. This button lets you change it. You can go here. Well, actually that one's different. Uh, there's floating right there. So you can set it to floating, but you probably don't want that because these buttons are so little you can't type them, type on them. So click this again, click the three dots, turn off floating, and you'll get your regular keyboard back. All right, so this is how it should work. You should be able to see what you're typing up here in the upper left. So it's fixed. Now, um, let's go back to the task manager and go back to settings. Now, 
the only time you should turn on Wi-Fi is when you want to back up your models to Google Drive or update airware. So don't leave it turned on. Turn it off when you're not using it. Now the way to turn off auto updates in the Play Store is to click on this icon that your account and go down here to settings. And then right there you see auto updates under network preferences. Click on that. Scroll down to auto update apps and you'll see that it says don't auto update apps. That's what you want it to say. You do not want to click either one of these two circles and turn on automatic update. You want this bottom button selected so that it does not automatically update if you forget and leave Wi-Fi turned on. So now to get rid of that, drag it off the screen and we're back here. And the way to update Airware is to go to product information and there's a button under that where you can click and it will download the new Airware and update it. But I recommend that you wait a while before you install the latest version of firmware, Airware, because Sometimes they release a version that's still got bugs in it. So let the other people be the, the beta testers. I never go to a restaurant during the first 30 days after it opens. I let them get their act together before I go and I let other people go. And, you know, uh, I go after the crowd settles down. And after the restaurant has figured out what they need to do to run the place. So don't be in a hurry to switch to the latest firmware. And when you're not using Wi-Fi, well, I didn't do it quick enough. Click on here. When you're not using Wi-Fi, pull this down, turn it off. And now there's no fan up here and it's off. So, um, I guess that's about it. So anyway, um, maybe that'll, uh, fix it for you too. Because I sure wasn't liking the way it was working with that uh, updated version of uh, Gboard. And like I say, if you let it update Google Drive, then you won't be able to back your models up to Google Drive. Because the newer version doesn't work with the iX14. The iX14 is using an old version of Android. So the newer apps that are on the Play Store won't necessarily play well with it. The best thing you can do is don't update the apps at all other than Airware. And don't be in a hurry to update it. Let everybody else figure out whether it's good or not before you try it. So there you go. Maybe that'll help you out. Later.